Awesome. All right, guys. Well, for this week's energy forecast, um, January 20th of 2015, we've got a lot happening in our, our solar system. Um, as the planets are all making some really crazy shifts, uh, particularly Mercury, Mars, and Neptune, <clears throat> as well as the Sun and Moon are doing some really crazy things. Yesterday, the 19th, kicked off some, some super conflict with Saturn for its biannual meetup with Neptune. Um, it's a planet that likes to just generally enlighten us to the idea that nothing is real, which is why so many of us seem to be questioning our core beliefs at this time. Neptune is how ever now in a Pisces and we're realizing that most of our lives is being just in control of the virtual world and it, I mean if you think about it you can order and do almost anything online from shopping to finding a significant other, earning a diploma, having your groceries delivered to your door, just generally anything and our worlds really are kind of being run virtually at this point. Um, the internet has nearly taken over half of a human's life and that's kind of scary to think when a third of it is spent sleeping, so it's really becoming very virtual. And Neptune is also the planet of romance and nostalgia and magic, as well as it's known for creative energy burst. So when Neptune is in motion, you'll feel capable of doing amazing, um, just compassionate things, and you also have a sensitivity for beings and creatures that seem less fortunate than yourself. So if your emotions are feeling really touchy, that's probably Neptune's doing. Um, be careful though, because Neptune also controls the bodies and connections with poisons and viruses that can just invisibly take over our bodies. And that's probably why a lot of people are feeling cold. That feeling of not wanting to get out of bed. Neptune is really affecting us with that. With it in Pisces, it also means it's hard for us to separate ourselves. <clears throat> separate ourselves from whatever we're being exposed to. And just be prepared to fight off a cold or a virus or just emotional storm which is coming right in and not only Neptune but other planetary shifts as well is causing this and when a planet is in Pisces it feels everything for the better or worse so it makes us feel that the time is just to be alone and reassemble ourselves and large crowds may need to be avoided just for a little while though a close friend or two is highly recommended so that you can keep your emotions at bay and still have someone that keeps you connected so you don't feel totally hermit, totally like a hermit right now. Um, Neptune's also in conjunction with Mars as it casts a shadow which is transmuting lower energy levels and a lack of confidence that's also adding to the not wanting to get out of bed feeling. It's showing us a setback for many and it creates a tendency for addictions and other darker feelings that you may have had as habits that you're trying to get rid of. When this planet is in conjunction with another planet, it means cause energy or shifts in our world. And Neptune and Mars are both very strong energies. And to help boost your energy level at this time, it's really recommended to eat lots of greens, supercharge your Mars energy. Um, on the card readings earlier, Selena talked about pomegranate and mangoes and different fruits, and those are all really important to your diet. So just on a more positive note, the conjunction can also inspire, like I said, a lot of creative projects and the desire to do good things. So the next couple of weeks should just be full of creative ideas. Um, now today is also a very powerful energetic shift. We are currently celebrating the new supermoon in Aquarius, which means we're at a zero percent visibility and we can't see the moon, but it's at its closest point with us. And the supermoon is just in the sign of Aquarius and with an absence of squares and other oppositions, it's bringing us some typical Aquarian energy. Very cool and calming for some and very static and crazy for others, really depending on where um, where your moon lies in your chart. And though this may be a calm before the storm effect, um, this is because Mercury is going retrograde tomorrow. And before we get to really start worrying about Mercury, take in the time that it is a new moon and it is a new energy. And it's a great time to be bringing innovative ideas to a group situation. Just we, It's not recommended to make hasty decisions or finalize anything, especially with Wednesday's forecast of events, which is the Mercury retrograde. Um, Mercury is also in Aquarius, and when it goes retrograde for the first time this year, um, it's said that people have a communication meltdown, and the conscious collective really just is having some glitches. We, we're, <laughs> we're not understanding how to 
uh, <laughs> cooperate and understand each other completely as clearly as we would like. <laughs> um, things start to be taken the wrong way by many. So truly, try not to take things so personal and realize that we're all being slightly misunderstood in this time. And things such as major communication, contracts, engagements, purchases, and so on, they really need a second look at because make sure you're receiving all the information. Um, other simple things such as the mail, it can also get mixed up. Something as simple as Oak Lane ends up in Oakland or just completely somewhere different. And timing can feel constantly off and our nurse can kind of begin to feel shot and it's, it's confusing when communication doesn't come out clearly. But don't fret though, there is some constructive things we can be working on during the retrograde, especially since it happens to us several times a year. It's a good time to take stock of what's happened in the last three months or just evaluate what you've been working on or what hasn't worked for you, what is working and where you need to be on your divine path. Um, another good rule to follow is things that start with re. Reattach to it is a good thing. Reorganize, reschedule, return, rewrite restore, so on like that. <laughs> uh, take a step back and use the next three weeks to really look at your personal rearview mirror and work through those. Um, make some small adjustments without any large commitments attached and be flexible because people are going to be off time and misunderstood. <laughs> Especially include a lot of extra time for travel if you're daring to do so. Um, but try not to use Mercury Retrograde as too much of an excuse for everything. There are some good that can come out of it. But um, overall, with all the intense shifts, there just may be another huge shift in psychic ability. And different activities and major coincidences are start starting to seem all too common because we're all waking up and realizing how much the planets really do play a part in our energy. And I think a lot of us realized that last Mercury Retrograde, and it kind of went viral that retrograde is a big thing. Um, so to just tune in and learn more about them, and I'm enjoying learning as much about it as possible to give you all information during our cosmic forecast. And I'm going to go ahead and give it over to Silamon for the solar flare. All right, guys, this is your solar flare update for the week of January 20th, 2015. And we're starting off here with some of the video footage of the solar flare. And this is from Soho. <clears throat> Solar flare activity has reached low levels with a few isolated C-class solar flares. Solar flare activity is expected to remain at low levels with a chance for C-class solar flares, um, only a 5% chance of M-class flares and a 1% chance of X-class flares. So, also, Sunspot 2266, let me see if I can, here we are, Sunspot 2266 has seen a slight decay. The rest of the sunspots are either stable or in decay, and that means they are just uh, shrinking or becoming more and more obsolete. The solar wind continues to continues with nominal levels of speeds ranging from 271 kilometers per second, that is 606,209 miles per hour, to 389 kilo kilometers per second, or 870,000 miles per hour. Solar wind is expected to be mostly nominal with a chance of high stream speed the next three days. These are all forecast by the National Oceanic and Atmos Atmospheric Administration. Also in the solar flare news, well, it's not really solar flare news, but um, in Comet news, we have Comet Lovejoy here making a pass through the Pleiades, um, and that happened earlier today. This shot was taken earlier today on the 20th, so that just happened, and that was Comet Lovejoy passing the Pleiades.